I found that one in three women between the ages of 18 to 24 were using their phones more than four hours per day. I am Dr. Jess Carboneau and I am the sociologist for Bumble. One of the really cool aspects of my job is that I get to talk with our users to really get an understanding of how social media and dating apps affects them on a regular basis. We know that obviously social media to the vast majority of women overwhelmingly impacts their mood and obviously has huge consequences for anxiety and depression. That's very clear from the data that we've seen. And I think at the same time, people need to be thinking about how they're creating a community with mental health and then creating a sense of well-being for themselves when they're actually meeting those people in person and not being engaged with their phones and not being engaged in social media. I think that it's very important once you actually go on a date to be practicing mindfulness and thinking about your well-being and mental health in the day process overall. That's certainly one part of it, but I think it even begins at the point at which you're creating your online dating profile and swiping. When we're swiping right, we are clearly getting a dopamine hit when we're matching with people. And that's really exciting and fun and it's validating. So obviously it can create a somewhat addictive sense to people when they're in the process of doing it, which is why that we're trying to encourage people to really think about how much time they're spending on Bumble and social media broadly. And then if they need to, to take a step back. This is a really interesting time that we're living in where women are very vocal and using social media and their political process to try to promote women's rights at the most fundamental level. When I talk to women who are users and women who are not users of Bumble, they say that the ability for women to have control over making the first move really provides them with a great deal of self-confidence. By promoting women's equality, we clearly make them feel better about themselves from a mental health perspective because we know that when women are not going to be promoted and when they're in oppressive societies, the mental health and well-being of everyone, both men and women, suffers.